right today. I'm good. How are you so, doing? That was practice. It was good. It was a really good Thursday. A little rain, so that was good. But uh, guys were locked in, had good focus. I think they're excited, you know, for ACC play to start and have a home game, a home game here uh, against a good opponent. So it's good focus. And, you know, our, our uh, guys that Thayer and CJ practiced and were cleared, so excited they're ready to go. And it's the first game of the year that we've had all six receivers playing in it, so it's good to have them and our starting tight ends. And so it's all good. How has Jacoby looked in practice so far this week? We saw much him in better. limited action. Yeah. yeah, much better. I mean, he's a little sore. He was probably 85 last week percentile-wise, and he looked good. Yeah, I mean, no no issues with him. And Thayer and CJ? They're good. You mentioned not having the full complement. I think it was on Monday. Mm -hmm. Does that change anything just to have? Mm -hmm. Now that I'm guessing it won't be a blast furnace, it would have been nice to have that in the first – two weeks as opposed to now. Yeah, I think the biggest thing it does is the rotation lets those guys be fresh, you know, so you don't have a guy having to take eight straight plays or whatever it is, and there's not a drop off when you want to get Kelvin out of the game or Steph or Jacoby, you know, so you don't have to worry about, hey, it's a third down, we've got to have so-and-so in the game. All six of those guys are capable of making plays, so I just think that part of it helps Coach McDonald, you know, and the gymnastics that go into substitutions uh, on either side of the ball. When you have viable backups at positions, it really helps. What types of things has the team done to prepare for a guy like Bryce Perkins this week? Uh, Matt McKay came over like he did last year when we had Lamar Jackson and was our scout team quarterback and, and really uh, is mobile and can run around and did a great job with our defensive guys so they could feel that strain of having to keep him in the pocket and get off blocks and you know how fast he gets to the edge on option plays and zone read keeps, you know, so it's just having an athlete there at that position is the first thing, you know, because if you don't, I think you get a false sense of security on your angles to the football and in your pass rush lanes, you know, because you can recover on a guy that's not as quick. And, and for, for Bryce, I mean, that guy's explosive. So you need to have an explosive player there. And we got a great look from him. Has Isaiah Moore been able to get back this week? Yeah, he practiced. And uh, he was a little sore last week. and. He practiced on Tuesday and, and uh, was out there today. Uh, Wednesday, we kind of gave him a little bit of a break, so we didn't have anything come back, but he looked good today. Obviously, that gave an opportunity for Lewis last yeah. week, so talk a little bit about what he was able to do in that opportunity. I was proud of Lewis. You know, He didn't flinch. He played like he'd been in there for, for multiple games. I thought he made a lot of plays. He looked quick. I mean, he has eyes in the right place. He communicated well at the front, so I thought it was great. I know it gave Coach Hux a lot of confidence in being able to play him more because uh, Isaiah had practiced a lot better than him up until that week. And, and now you, you know that when you put a guy in, you're going to get with your coach, and that helps. When you see juniors, retro juniors, true seniors that are on pace to graduate, do you find yourself recruiting them a little bit more than you would in the past just to make sure that everything is cool in light of all the rule changes that have occurred? No. No, I mean, I'm going to treat all these guys with respect and coach them and help them. And, push them and hold them accountable and do all those things. And, you know, if any point in time a player feels that this isn't the right place for him, we'll have those conversations. But I'm not in the business of kissing somebody's butt because of a rule change. I mean, I don't think that's the way we do business here. It's, it's all about treating people with respect and helping them become the best version of themselves. And ultimately, this is where you want to be, you know. And if you don't, then it's not the right fit. One last injury question, uh, Tyrone as well. Who? Big Tyrone. Key. He practiced today. Okay. Yep.